853 here, Big 550 KTRS. It is uh, the Christmas season, and while everyone is enjoying the season, each other's company, there are people who are less fortunate. To talk about it is Major Todd Tilke, who is the administrator for the Salvation Army Adult Rehabilitation Center. Major, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. Good morning. How are you today? Good. Good. You've been in St. Louis uh, six months. We've been I talking have. off the air. First thoughts as you uh, enjoy our fair city? It's a beautiful city, friendly people. We're really enjoying our ministry here. Um, the men that have been coming into our program come from all walks of life, some right off the street to some from Fortune 500 companies, and it's been a blessing to get to know the people. And um, we're very grateful to serve here. A lot of people think of the Salvation Army as the kettles. We'll get to that in a second, but it is much more. Tell, talk, talk about the rehab facilities. Well, the two things that I knew about the Salvation Army out of college were the red kettles and the thrift stores, and I really didn't know what they supported. The red kettles support kind of a pathway of hope for people who are in poverty to help them to get back on their feet again if they've lost their jobs or a place to stay. But the thrift stores, they support the Adult Rehabilitation Center which help men who've um, lost their way and have been either an alcoholic or, or drug addictions. And uh, we provide hope for them, a way of coping with that, a way of being um, freed from that and giving them opportunities to learn work skills and to get refocused. And it's been a, a blessing because these men are so appreciative. They say the Salvation Army saved their lives. They get restored to their families, which is a joy and then they get back to work, and it's been exciting to see. Uh, talk about the faith part of that, because I, from what I understand is you can't go through the Salvation Army program without having some faith in a higher power, right? Is well, that, is that anyone right who, is anyone's in, invited to come, wh whatever their beliefs are, but we believe that the success for this program is believing in a higher power because you have to believe in something stronger than yourself in order to um, really be freed from some self-destructive choices. Is this a, a, a center where they stay? Yes, it is. We um, have 104 beds right now. We have about 87 people in our program, and it's been exciting to see the progression. The first 30 days that they're there, um, they're on a restriction where they don't have contact with anyone outside the center, and they really need that to detox, to refocus, to, to really just start to um, get... 100% focused on why they're there. Then after that, they can go out on, on passes over the weekend and in the evenings, and they really start to um, feel themselves again. Uh, there's a lot more joy in their faces. They really uh, get a sense of purpose. And they, the program is a six-month graduation program, but they can stay an extended six months if they're looking for work or need additional um, care. We, we, you mentioned the red kettles. Kelly was saying we can now use our debit cards with the red kettles? You can now use credit cards for the red kettles, yes. Holy mackerel, that is good news. Mm -hmm. So, hey, I don't have any cash on me. Doesn't 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 count anymore. Well, I don't carry much cash at all except for the kettle season just to put some things into it. But at the same time, um, I'm very glad they came up with that idea. It was, it's wonderful because... We're a pretty much cashless society, and if we can come and either swipe a card or um, check it in. We used to do some texting off of the, from the sure. signs and things, so there's many ways to give. I got uh, about uh, 30 seconds here. What should people know? How do they give, and, and what's the website? They can give by supporting um, shopping at our thrift stores, donating items such as autos, furniture, clothing, and uh, it's satruck.org. Satruck.org is the best way to go on to give. You can sign up for uh, a pickup. We have a dozen trucks that go out every day and pick up thousands of items from the community. Really appreciate the generosity of the St. Louis people. That's uh, Major Todd T uh, Tilke. Major Todd Tilke here on the Big 550 KTRS. The thrift stores are where? Well, there's one at uh, Midtown door right across from Ikea on Forest Park. Right. There's one in uh, St. Charles. There is uh, one in Florissant. There is one in Belleville, Illinois, in Arnold. Yeah. And when you shop at the Salvation Army stores, I should say, right, you can get some great yes. finds. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Great furniture, great finds. Well, this is a great time also, the end of the year, people need to clean up their closets or anything they can give to the Salvation Army. We'd appreciate that very much. And it's donatable. Is that not correct as well? I mean, yes. uh, it's, uh, it's tax, tax deductible tax is, is deductible. what I meant. Tax yes. deductible. Yes, mm -hmm. that's exactly what I meant. Uh, Major Todd uh, Tilke, I've said it right every single time, yeah. right? You have. You have. So far, so good. Welcome to St. Louis. You've been here six months. 
Um, so welcome, and we're always here to help. So thanks for checking in. Well, thank you for shedding some light on the Salvation Army and its work around the holiday season. You got God it. God bless you. And you can uh, use your debit card, credit cards at the uh, Kettles, even with the men and women and Santas ringing their bells. They'll, they'll still do that, and they'll take now your debits and credit cards.